Let's find the terminal ilium. Here's the appendix. Angle the scope a little and pull back. There's the ilium. That's the appendix trick, the easiest way to find the ilium. Look at another patient. Here's the appendix with a typical bow appearance. Aim an arrow at the bow, and that's the direction the appendix is pointing, towards the centre of the abdomen. And the ilium enters from the centre, so steer in the direction of the arrow, pull back a little, watch for the lip of the valve riding up over the lens, and the scope will often fall into the ilium. Watch for the shiny villi and wangle or insufflate to find the ileal lumen. The other approach to the ileum is the straight-on one. The opening of the valve is a slit, like a mouth, on the sequel side of the fold, with soft lips above and below. To locate the valve, withdraw the scope 10 centimeters or so back from the sequel pole and look for a bulge or deformity on the first large fold. Suctioning will often make the bulge more obvious. It may even bubble. To enter the ileum, if possible, twist the scope to rotate the view so that the valve bulge is at the bottom of the view at 6 o'clock. This is because down angulation is the easiest steering movement for entry and the air nozzle will also enter first, making insufflation of the ileum easy. If there's a double bulge or visible lips, it's obvious where to aim. If there's only a single bulge or flattening, aim at the centre point. Push inwards over the bulge, angle down towards the opening and pull back slowly so that the tip impacts in the valve. Often the lower lip of the valve projects up, causing a red out. Finally, while still angling forcibly down towards the valve, insufflate to open up the ileum and manoeuvre to find the direction of the lumen. Ileal villi are much more obvious under water after injection with a 50cc syringe. If finding or entering the valve is difficult, position change may help, or try turning the valve to 12 o'clock. The biopsy forceps can also be used, either for blind biopsy, or, when they're inserted, suctioning to collapse the cecum and slide the tip into the ileum, the forceps acting as a guide wire. Retroversion of the scope at the sequel pole shows up blind areas in the ascending colon and sometimes also the ileocecal valve.